The Lord of the Rings, because uh, for those that don't know, Tolkien was a very faithful Catholic, had a tremendous faith. Um, son and, became a and, priest, and his son became a priest. Absolutely, yeah. his his uh, he was adopted in kind of in, in a way by a priest after his mom had converted to Catholicism, and 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 uh, so they kind of lost a lot of their friends. So, so the the oratory the oratorians in, in England had a big influ- influence on his life. Um, but to me, like learning about the Lord of the Rings and beginning to read it, kind of was always second to uh, to the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and the Chronicles yeah. of Narnia from C.S. Lewis, who was also a very famous. Um, Christian apologist um, in the mm-hmm. Anglican Church, a convert from atheism, but a lot of people, and so that to me was always kind of the, the intro is, is you reading the Lord of the Rings yeah. and, and and all those yeah. books of the Chronicles of Narnia, and then eventually getting to uh, the longer and more in, intensive and and maybe less written for children, I guess, uh, yeah. uh, Lord of the Rings books. But I always find it interesting that that Tolkien was one of the people that helped to convert uh, C.S. Lewis yep. uh, yeah. to Christianity, and uh, one of the people that he knew, one of the few. Christians that he knew who were academics, because um, you know he was uh, he was a linguist and had uh, had all sorts mm-hmm. of, of um, kind of amazing academic pedigree. Tolkien did so that was one of one of uh, one of the, kind of the uh, the linchpins for one of perhaps one of the most important apologists explainers of the Christian faith of the twentieth century was was his friendship with uh, with J.R.R. Tolkien. Mm-hmm.